Hello, this is Dave from PB Networks, and today I'm going to do a tutorial on escaping. So, let's build a packet and change it. And as soon as we set the destination uh, address, it shows that it shows our source address, which is our IP address on the system here. Now we're going to deal with the stacking layers and the slash operator has been used between two, two layers. The lower layer can have one or more of its default fields over, overloaded according to the upper layer. Each packet can be built or dissected. Um, notice the example after the uh, use of the underscore. Now we see that the dissected packets have all their fields uh, filled um, and we can change that by going in and changing, um, putting in a, uh, attributes for each one of them and then hiding those like, uh, like we did just now with the c.hide underscore defaults. We generated one packet, now let's see how we can generate many packets and do it just, just as easily.
Okay, we've manipulated packets. Let's go ahead and send them. The send function will send packets at layer 3. It will handle uh, routing in layer 2 for you. The send p function works at uh, layer 2. The description I have here is uh, using the uh, send function. Okay, now we're going to use the, uh, the fuzz uh, function. Um, fuzz function or function fuzz is able to change any default value that is not to be calculated by an object whose value is random. Uh, this, this gives the ability to quickly build fuzzing templates and send them in a loop, which is uh, the example we do right here. And, uh, and the following uh, example that we have, the uh, IP layer is normal and UDP and NTP layers are fuzzed. Uh, the UDP checksum uh, will be correct and the UDP destination port will be overlooked by NTP to be 123 and the NTP version will be forced to be 4. All the other ports will be randomized. Uh, next, we have a recursive uh, DNS query, uh, which I point uh, to my uh, server at uh, 192.168.1.107. The send and receive uh, SR, um, they return a couple of two lists. The first element is a list of couples, uh, packets sent, and the answers. And the second element is the list of unanswered packets. So we sent this off to my server uh, 192.168.1.107 and hit uh, ports 21, 22, and 23. Uh, you can expand upon this, do more, do less, uh, but uh, they all return back in the same sequence. If there's a rated limit of answers you can specify a time interval uh, to wait between the two packets uh, if some packets are lost or if specifying an interval is not enough uh, you can resend all the unanswered packets either by calling the function again directly with the unanswered list or by specifying a retry And if the retry is three, Scampi will try to resend unanswered packets three times. If the retry is a negative three, Scampi will resend unanswered packets until no more answers are given for the same set of unanswered packets three times in a row. Uh, Classic send scan can be initialized by executing the following command uh, from the scampi prompt. Uh, we're pointing this at my server, uh, 192.168.1.107. Uh, we're going to use the source port of 2222, destination port, we're specifying start net uh, 22, and going to 80. And we put the uh, the S flag on there. Now, you can use uh, you can use uh, whatever you can use the S flag, or you can uh, write it out in hex, which is zero x zero two. Um, you can change around the parameters. You can use um, fin, synac, uh, whatever you want. But uh, this will be all for me on this tutorial. Uh, this was uh, like an intro to Scappy. I'm going to be doing a couple more. It gets a little more in depth with uh, 